good, y'all? Here's another episode of the Captain Jack Pod. I'm with my co-host, Pat Wavy. It's Pat Wavy, y'all. But we got B-Gens with us, man. Yeah, what up, what up, youngest? What up, what up? We start every, we start every episode a certain way. You give me a top five scores ever. Really think about it, though. Don't just yeah. throw it out, because they've been going crazy. There's been a lot of people saying BS. A lot of people have been telling me nonsense, and I'm really, I get really personal when it comes to the top five scores of all time. Yeah, go ahead. Top five scores ever to pick up a basketball. Ever. Uh, Well, let's go Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go Kobe. Yeah, B. Um, I like Kevin Durant. I like Michael Beasley. Beasley. Um, score just bucket. Kyrie Irving. Oh my yeah. God, bro. <laughs> you don't like, like that? Why do they always do that to me though? Like you don't like I that? I don't mind. Why do you, don't leave Melo out? Why do we keep yeah. leaving Melo out that, of that, that That's list, one that everybody bro. been leaving out though. Like, I, why do they keep trying to? Yeah, like people tempting me. Bro. You know, no, 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 I like I, no, I like Melo. Melo. Oh, oh, Mike Melo. Beasley for Melo. Mike Beasley for Melo can't happen to me. No, <laughs> no, no. Michael Beasley was different. I know I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I always got around with Melo though. That's really like for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. T Mac. T Mac. My my list. I throw T Mac and Melo in there. I'm going T Mac. I mean, I'm going Melo over T Mac. Yeah, I, I like that. Mellow, Mellow, man. <laughs> Mellow at Syracuse was unbelievable. That's what I be trying. That was a nah, grown yes, man. Yes, I'm saying. M- M- Mellow, that Mellow was, was that different. That was grown men against kids. That was not that whole season was grown men yeah. against kids. Mm-hmm. But then Mello you got different. you got Ben Gordon. Like we ain't mentioned. I don't know if y'all know Ben Gordon. Ben Gordon. Why you don't add yourself why? though? You don't think you was top, you don't think you was a top pop scorer that of, like to yourself? You don't believe? Well, I became a scorer like my senior year oh. because I had to. My my game was always like pass first point guard. Okay. And then like my senior year, I just went crazy because I was the only one yeah. senior there, so, so I had to. Let's start how you like you're coming up. Yeah, in basketball. Senior years, high school. Let's let's so you want to start high school. Let's start like yeah. what was your coming up in basketball with high school and everything. Yeah. Uh, so I went to Dominguez first, Dominguez High School, where Tyson Chandler went to. Um, <clears throat> I was a ball boy there at Dominguez when I was 11, so I always knew I wanted to go to Dominguez Powerhouse. Um, in Compton and then uh, after my sophomore year I decided to go to Oak Hill Mm -hmm. Um, and with that decision man I mean that that was like one of the best decisions for me because I was away from home Um, you know I was 16 single parent mother home no debt no father figure so I needed that to uh, you know be away and just focus on basketball yeah (laughs) who was your Oak Hill team Oak Hill team my junior year me Nolan Smith Alex Legent Trey Thompson um, and then my my last year it was me, P. Sean Howard, uh, Malik Story, and a couple of other guys. And Tony Gallon. They was loaded. Yeah, I was loaded. Y'all won. Yeah, that. Um. Yeah, my junior year we went forty and one with Nolan Smith. Jesus. Forty. Wait, at high school, why are you playing forty games though? I don't know. Forty. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Wild. I mean, we actually played like forty five. Yeah. Like yeah. how? You Wait, forty so one sounds. That's, 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 that's crazy. Like this year, I, I feel like I had a long season, and we only played like twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty six years. Yeah, like twenty seven. Like like the playoffs probably like thirty two. What was the most like con like adversity you faced in high school? Like, uh, I I think I think just leaving, like just leaving, just leaving Dominguez and um, taking a challenge, going to Oak Hill for two years. Um, that's when I became the number one player in the country. Um, but I mean, I think just the adversity of just being away from home. That's yeah. crazy. I feel like with being the number one player in the country come with like a lot. Cause every time they like you on the court, somebody looking to kill you. Like yeah, yeah. they looking to take your face off every time. Like, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't ready. But uh, you know, like I wasn't re- worried about that because I feel like I had the advantage going to Oak Hill. Like I'm all. I was always in the gym every mm-hmm. day, five a.m., six a.m. Like in the gym. Like you know, it was nothing to do up there. Yeah. So you know, my advantage was you know I'm, I already knew I was better than everybody because I'm in the gym more than you. Yeah. yeah, facts, facts. So you, you, if, then you say you would say that was by your best high school decision that you made. Yeah, yeah, For sure. best. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was the start of, you know, the challenges, and then you know, going to Oak Hill, and then, you know, making a decision to go overseas. You know, out of high school. You know, yeah, that was you know that was easy for me to pick because overseas. I home. Yeah, well, before we get to the overseas, you said mm-hmm. you grew up in Compton. Yeah, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. How was that growing up? Cause I. I was growing up in Compton. Uh, I mean, growing up in LA is tough. I mean, you know, you got gangs. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you got you know Crips, Bloods. You got you know all the th- uh, all that, and then you got you know just growing up in a single parent mother home. My dad died when I was eight, um, so I had to become the man of the house early. You know, um, AAU games. You know, at eleven years old, I was already getting paid for to you know <laughs> you know to uh, for rent 11. and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, like I was. Yeah, Wait, so it became you became a job. But so you get active at eleven years old. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By by the time I was 11, 12, 13, yeah, my rent was paid. 
So you was hope, you was nice, 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 nice. I love it. Twelve. That's what I'm saying. You don't know because he was whack when he was eleven. Nah, I was trash. I was trash. Nah, nah, nah. Trash is not. Nah, like, like for for me, for me, trash was not. Ah, you be, you be, nah, bro. Like for me, bro, that early wasn't clicking, bro. It was that was not clicking. It was it wasn't my thing, bro. It took a while. It took me like at least three years, like like three years to fully start seeing like my growth. But early, I was trash though. Yeah. Well, for me, you know, I grew up and one mixtape. Mm-hmm. You know, and one personally, and one mixtape came, seen Skip to My Lou come down. Like, that was it for me. Yeah. So, I, every day I was in the driveway just working on that move, working on those moves. So, Skip to My Lou I definitely had his mixtapes was crazy. Yeah. Those and one mixtapes. Yeah. 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 The one, two, and three. The one, two, the mixtapes was crazy yeah. for sure. Mixtapes. Your mixtape is OD. Yeah. 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 Who was you playing against? I, I sent you the video. Who was you playing against that day? At at camp? I, I don't know if it was at a camp or not, but I said, look, look, look. He, you, you, it was you or somebody else going back and forth with each other, though. Who was, was it, it? Uh, was it uh, Josh Shelby? It might have been Josh Shelby. This video right here. Yeah, it was Josh Shelby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 so that was. Uh, Let's go right back and forth. Let's go back yeah. and forth. <laughs> yeah, so that was, uh, yeah, so that was during the lockout. Mm-hmm. Um, against uh, mm-hmm. a lockout in Baltimore. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that was that was lit, man. That was some good basketball during that time. During the lockout, we was at the Mellow Center. Yeah, it was crazy. The lockout. Explain it. Everybody knows what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so the NBA lockout happens uh, in the NBA. My second year. That's when they lock down the league. Mm-hmm. Um, so nobody gets paid. Nobody. Uh, nobody can go to the practice facilities or anything. So Why we were just though? scrambling around um, to find basketball games. Yeah. So everybody would just pull up in LA, DC, New York. I mean, it was like the craziest summer for like yeah. summer hoop. Because mm-hmm. like all the NBA players was out. LeBron, everybody was just, just hooping. They were supposed to do it. They were, LeBron actually was supposed to play in, um, 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 was it the Rucker? Yeah, the yeah, Rucker. Yeah. Never ended up playing. Yeah. It never happened. Yeah. It never happened. You know what's what you going Lenny Cook was telling, Lenny Lenny Cook was was telling us that, he, yeah. he was waiting for that game mm-hmm. like his life depended on yeah, yeah. Like, Sebastian too, right? Sebastian was up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, was, that, that game was supposed to be hacked. That game was gonna be hacked. Like Fat Joe I, and I, was out I there. heard that the whole entire block like was like like packed out. People was on rooftops. Yeah, 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 yeah. that yeah. game was heavy, yeah. So I'm saying basketball, basketball's love. Yeah. Even in the Rucker. Even been in the Rucker, yeah. yeah. I've been a Rucker. Yeah, MVP. Yeah, yeah. I played at Rucker. Um I went up to um I played against hard to guard. Too hard yeah, to guard yeah. up in Dykeman. Went yeah. up there. Yo, his love was crazy. Yeah, nah, he's I've from the town. I've never seen nothing He's from like the town, that. yeah. But he came yeah. through. They was clapping. They were standing up. I was New York like, show, New York show. Nah, I always say that. New York show Nah, love, bro. bro. Yeah, they show love, but if you're doing BS. Nah, yeah, if you're doing yeah. crazy, if you're yeah. not. Yeah. If, nah, yeah. watch out. Yeah, 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 yeah nah. Watch why why are you here? Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Yo, 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 take his jersey off. Yo, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yo, get that. I didn't see that. Yo, yo, short, short jersey. Short, short jersey. Yeah, yeah. Especially especially, if you're somebody that you're supposed to be nice, right? You're not from the city. And they and they call you out and you come out to the games and you playing like 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 you're trash? Nah. You got one shot. Yeah. You got one shot. Yeah. New York basketball is not for the weak though. Like, nah, like you know, that's cool. why a lot of guys don't play on the street. Yeah, because it's like they just don't. They ain't got that type of. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, 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 bro, I don't like. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm from New York. I don't like outside ball, bro. Okay. I don't like it, bro. I don't know how to me. I like her. I love the aggressive, the push, no fouls. Yeah. I love that. I get to hurt. I get to rough you up. Yeah. I don't like don't all care. that, bro. Yeah. Nah, you, it's it's just it's just nah. I don't know. It's, it's a weird. It's a weird. It's weird, bro. Especially when I was playing, bro. Like when I when I first started going out there, is when I like started like getting better and people started knowing who I am. So they sending like double teams. Yeah. It was just never cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was wild, okay. bro. Like I never oh. had a chance to really play ball because they just they wild. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ice away. I want to get a nice mixtape. I want to get a nice mixtape, and then I let that happen. So I said, bro, see, it's over. I have forty five in the rucker though. That's the, yeah. Oh, forty five like, in the rucker. Yeah, forty five in the Probably the play gets no. Body for real, it, it was a slam. It, it was a slam game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, crazy. come on. That was crazy. Come on. That, that was. I was definitely. That was yeah. crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, was crazy. he's crazy. Everybody <laughs> was out there. Nah, that was insane. Yeah. Everybody was out there. That's when the city really. I couldn't could miss a shot. I couldn't miss a shot. I was going to say. What was going through your head during that game? Uh, nah, that was like my last game to play outside, bro. Like, cause summer ball, I was going to college next. I'm going to college this year. That was, that was last year. I'm going to college. I said, bro, I need to do something. And and it was mad names like everybody else like you got Cooper and like mad different people I'm like bro you're not coming yeah, to my yeah, city and yeah, try to yeah, yeah. I already be know, the man I already know it. I'm already, <laughs> it's not I'm going already, I'm not I'm not going, going for it bro <laughs> I just wasn't going for that yeah nah I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't going for that I wasn't going for that not not gonna show not gonna be the man in my city nah it's not happening. <laughs> 
Nah. Nobody can get MVP that day. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so they, 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 they crowd share. Yeah. Like it, it was it was active. It was crazy. Who was yeah, the hardest person you guarded like, in high school? The hardest person I guarded in high school. I had to play against like Corey Fisher. Corey Fisher. Mm. Corey Fisher. Corey Fisher from New York. Yeah. He gave you more fame yeah. money. Yo, we was at ABCD camp one time, man. He came down. All of New York was behind him. Mm-hmm. Like, he came down and just <laughs> did that cross, and I went the other way. I said, "Man, he shook you!" Like yeah, it was nasty. The whole everybody, you know, they like, yeah, nah, no, wait, they wait, coming wait, to you. Wait, you know, wait, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he, he he coming down with he coming he coming down with the boy. Everybody's walking behind him. You know, they just standing up. Like oh, you know, they just standing up. So it's okay, like man. I'm like, oh damn, I'm out here by myself. Yeah, you might. Yeah, yeah. nobody else is helping. Yeah. There's no help. Yeah, nobody's no help. helping. Yeah. No help. <laughs> you him, uh, him. I played against Johnny Flynn. Uh-huh. In high school, ABCD camp. Well, I wouldn't get some. Why does everything happen at ABCD camp? I don't know. ABCD camp was a was yeah. So a, ABCD camp stopped because of Sonny Vaccaro. Uh, mm-hmm. If everybody don't know who Sonny Vaccaro is, he's like the godfather of basketball. Yeah. So he's the one that you know got Michael Jordan to sign with Nike. He got um, you know, had LeBron James, uh, Kobe Bryant, and all those guys. So and yeah. and uh, he was the first. He was the one that helped me get overseas, Rome. So Sonny Vaccaro is like. Uh, he's like the godfather so abcd camp like your man tracy mcgrady he went there right tracy mcgrady went to abcd camp he was the last ranked player he left there number one out of, wow. out of everybody that's how everybody is. so it was really that like yeah, it that's was like, where you go to make your yeah that's name. where you go to make your name yeah, yeah abcd camp that's where yeah. lenny cook got killed right yeah, by lebron yeah. i mean he told he, nah, he le- said he le- said lenny's side of the story he, he he fake had he had no chance he had no chance and uh, but on top of that he did also bring up that teammate missed two free throws to lose that game yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. He said that, but he he said the night before. He said the night before. He said it's on our pod. The night before, he went out to like three a.m. Mm. and then they played at nine a.m. Yeah, he yeah, said he. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I yeah. Believe. <laughs> and, and then you know who else was killer ABC camp? Lance Stevenson. Lance. Yeah, Lance. Lance, 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 Lance that's where Lance. Lance that's where Lance made his. Lance, 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 Lance is a goal. Lance was a goal. Yeah, Lance is a goal. Yeah. Nah, nah, he's a goal for sure. Yeah, he got four chips. Yeah, yeah. 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 Four is he the tough, best? Tough chips. Is he the best high school player out of New York City? I can't get. I can't give nobody that title. Any Why? any answer we say right now is wrong. Somebody's gonna text us. Yo. Nah, I'm not gonna I mean, lie, bro. I mean, I like, like high school player. Nah, I would say he probably the best high school player, bro. Who? Lance. Cause he played. He bro. He had four chips, bro. With, with Lincoln, like four yeah. four state chips. That, that team was not the best. Yo, Ian. Mm-hmm. He was just. He, he was a man. A man amongst boys. In high school, Bash Bashy. But he wasn't winning, no. Now, Lance Bassi won four was four times. Straight Bassi won four was straight. really gr- insane, Ian. Sebastian no, Telfer Tuff- was insane, No, he bro. was. No, he, he was. was and this through the fire movie was, was, yeah. bro, was like Sebastian so inspiring. Sebastian Telfer was crazy, bro. I heard like they he really was like like every trip. Like, nah, he, he was good. It was every bro, trip, but for, for somebody went four times, it's not that's like, yeah, that's no, insane, that's cr- bro. I mean, that got I mean, to do with the team. I, when you say the best team, player... I, I mean, the best... I mean, Lance, man, I've seen Lance... But, at eighth, and it's not I've like seen he, Lance at eighth grade at, at ABCD bro. camp go at OJ. Yeah, Mayo, like, like, Mayo? like... And Lance was eighth grade, bro. Now, oh, you mean, just give me like, nostalgic 2K vibes. Like, <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks. Like... With the zero on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, OJ Mayo, bro. OJ Mayo. Yeah, oh my Mayo. God, yeah, bro. OJ Mayo. Yeah, OJ Mayo. He took yeah. it. He was messed. He was not nice. He was yeah, not nice. God. Yeah, OJ. Yeah. And then, uh, um, y'all know Kenny Anderson from New York? Yeah. 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 yeah they say he's the best. Uh, nah, Kenny, uh, Kenny was Kenny was good too. That's what I'm but, saying. New York, nah, bro. New York, New York. I, had I'm giving this to Lance, bro. It's not okay. like he. It's not like he was winning and he, he was just playing mediocre. Right. He was playing out of his mind, and he was killing everybody, bro. I gotta give it to Lance. That's, what's up. that's tough though. That's, that's tough. tough. Yeah. So the overseas, what what made you? It was college or overseas? Facts. Why? What was? What made you take the overseas route? Uh, well, I was going to Arizona. Yeah. Right? And then Luke Olson had retired, um, and then Gerald Bayless he was leaving for the draft. So, um, and then I was having problems with my SAT scores and things like that. So when that happened, I had to make another decision, which was either sit out for a year and train or go overseas and. You know, I was able to go to a, a, a beautiful country, you know, Rome, Italy, um, and I was able to sign a shoe deal with Under Armour at the time, which was which which was like uh, 1.2 million. So it all worked out in your favor. So overseas was better than college. Yeah. You got NIL basically. Mm-hmm. That was basically your NIL. Yeah. That was a vibe for you. It, how was how was like the Italy like overseas though? Because not for everybody, it's not it's not right. sweet. Right. It's, it's not it's yeah. not good for yeah, everybody. Yeah, no, I mean it was very uh, it was definitely a culture shock. Um, mm-hmm. You know, my first time out the country, I took my mom and brother. Yeah. So I had my family, which was uh, okay. which was a little easier for me. Yeah. Um, I stayed the whole ten months, um, but just being able to travel, you know, play, you know, play against professionals, you know, mm-hmm. travel different seven different countries, um, you know, I always feel like that's education right there. 
Mm-hmm. Um, because my brain and, you know, what I'm seeing, the perspective of life is different. Yeah, definitely. You know, so I was able to, you know, see see something different in life, but also be able to play and make money. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that's that. Overseas, coming out of high school definitely help, helped you, like, yeah. mentally. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah. make you more mature. I, I don't like overseas. You don't? Nah. nah. Why? Where Why you been? So, I've been? I've been to Spain. You don't like Spain? Barcelona? I've been telling him, let's nah. go to Nigeria. He says he doesn't want to nah, go to Africa. I, I don't want to go to Africa. <laughs> I never heard somebody say they don't want to go to Africa. It just—it was never on my bucket list, like to go to Africa. I got an elephant in my backyard for you, bro. (laughs) So so we can pull. I go get the elephants and tigers. But yeah, Yeah. that's it, bro. You been to Africa before? No, I haven't. No, no, no. I want to go though. He doesn't want to go to Africa. I told him Africa is amazing, bro. Africa is a beautiful place. Yeah. And we built the best basketball players. Nigeria got the best basketball players. I mean, overseas is dope. I mean. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I never went to go to Africa. That was not never my bucket list. But we, we went. To, so I didn't. I went to Spain. Spain was Spain wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. But I just got like homesick after a while. We was out there for like two weeks, bro. This and it, it was during COVID. So you couldn't really leave the hotel. Oh, okay. So so it got bad. And then we went to Mexico. Mexico, I didn't like it. No, no, nah, I didn't like Mexico. It, it was just. It was just. Not, it was not. It was no fun. It, it was like our, our locker room. We had to walk outside through a parking lot to get to our locker room. So it, one one game was raining, our shoes is wet. Like it is, it, it wasn't, it was no good. Mm-hmm. And then the, the last time I went to OC, we went to Hungary. Hun- Hungary wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it just it, it, the food is. It's, you went to fashion? Yeah, for sure. You need to go to Paris. Yeah, I gotta go to Paris, bro. You need to go to. Paris. I gotta go to Paris. Go to Paris. Yeah, yeah, facts. If we get into fashion, you said you got a clover brand. How's how's that started? Tough when crowd. you started your? Yes, yeah, so, so I started my. Um, <clears throat> so once I left the league. Um, you know, once my last year in the league, um, I got right into fashion. So I got right into my next chapter in life, which was in my clothing brand, Tough Crowd. Um, and I've just been building it for like the last five years. You know, if you've seen it on Steph Curry, you've seen it on Chris Brown, Dwayne Wade, a bunch of uh, different athletes. Um, yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's been a great process. Um, you know, I've learned a lot about the business and patience and things like that. Um, but man, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it since basketball's stopped. You know, I can't ask for more. Definitely. Yeah. Since, since, since we, yeah. Yeah. Since yeah, we yeah, into yeah, fashion, who the flyest person in the league? The flyest person in the league. Give me top three. Best ever? Uh, ever and right now, yeah. You can say ever and then. Ever. Uh, myself. Yeah. Jordan Clarkson. I got to go AI. Oh, no AI. shade, Gil. No shade, Gil was crazy. Yeah, no shade, yeah. No shade is crazy. I, I, I could jack AI because AI, AI fake started up. Yeah, yeah, he, he you started. Know how I feel yeah, about the reason why I put AI because it's like yeah, come on, it's, it's like, like he got, started. The, the, he's more like I the Drake jersey. Yeah, his own. Yeah. I got yeah. a college jersey. I got AI college jersey hung in my room in college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, AI, the way AI he got AI the MVP cool. with the come yeah. on, man. AI was swaggy. He was swaggy. Growing up, AI was iconic to everybody. Like I just wanted to be. I you want to have the cornrows in the back of my head. Yeah, I wanted to move like AI. Two tone headband. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but right now, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think right now, best dress is Shea Gill, though, for sure, by far. You be into yeah, Shea Gill? Like you don't be into yeah, Shea yeah, Drip? Yeah, Shea, 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 nah, cool. Shea go, he go crazy. Yeah. I like Jordan, though. I like Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson? Now, Clarkson has the pieces. Clarkson got, but Shea got, if you know, you know pieces. Nah, Shea, yeah, yes, yeah, nah. You Shea know how, you already know how he yeah, rock, too. I like Shea. I can't go Shea. I can't go You know how he rock, too. Shea, if you know, you know, like, Shea don't be really, a lot of people don't understand it because they don't be really paying, they don't be in tune. Wait, so 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 like like your whole NBA career, like fashion was was a part of it, or, yeah. or, or like did I start like like for me when basketball stopped? No, that actually fashion. I got into fashion when I went to Italy, Rome. Uh, mm-hmm. That was my first time being able to like I went to Milan. Yeah, you know I was able to go to different countries and see different fashion. So that's when I first got the eye into it, mm-hmm. um, and that just sparked it. But and then through my career, you know, just dressing, dressing, and you know, once my career was over, I was like, man, we might as well start a brand. Yeah. Um, and you know the reason why I put Tough Crowd on the collar is because back in the day, you know everybody used to take selfies, mm-hmm. so it was a good marketing tool just to be able yeah. to you like, see it, you see the brand every yeah. day. So, yeah. and you know that's the thing about a brand, you want to be visible. Like if you're not wearing your brand every day, if you're not posting about your brand every day, you ain't serious. Yeah. Like, I don't care if you don't get no sales. Yeah. Like you gotta keep wearing it. You gotta Promoted keep pushing. pushing. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. So, o- overseas happened. You played a season. Now it's time to enter the draft and yeah. be like. What happened like at that, at that point for you? So uh, finished the season, came back, got right into training, um, training for the draft. I, I think I worked out for like seven, uh, like like maybe like eleven teams, because mm-hmm. uh, I didn't play at all that year. Yeah. So you know, people wanted to see was I still good, um, you know, and everything like that. So went through the draft. Um, they told me I wasn't gonna go 
uh, lottery. Mm -hmm. So I skipped out on the draft. So I, I was just in New York chilling in the hotel with my whole family. Yeah. And then uh, the Bucks ended up picking me number 10. And then uh, the NBA called. Right, so now I'm rushing out, I'm rushing to the draft. Oh, you're and trying to get there? It, yeah, so I rushed into the draft, so I got there, and they brought me out um, for the 13th pick. I'm like, yeah, so I'm the first player ever to come. I'm like Soulja Boy. I'm like the first player. I'm like, I'm like the first to do all that. I'm like the first one to first one to come overseas, first, first one to come through the back. <laughs> like, say what's up, everybody. Like, just, just always doing something. Kind of skip past it, but how was your, how was your pre-draft, like, your yeah, pre-draft workouts? I heard like, pre-draft workouts is rough. Like, man, like, man, that's like, like I was telling you earlier when I was talk, talking yeah. to you guys. Um, man, it's competition, man. I couldn't wait. Like it was like you know I I was wa overseas watching everybody Tariq Evans uh, Blake Griffin you know um, Johnny Flynn all these guys in my draft and they're you know getting hyped mm -hmm. and once the once they rolled out that ball you know it was time to go yeah. so I just remember being in a workout with uh, I think Jeff Teague said it like I was uh, in a workout with them um, in Milwaukee and I was just killing like just killing dudes because. You know, that whole year, I'm learning how to come off the pick and roll. I'm playing with grown man every day. So my preparation was t totally different from everybody's mm -hmm. early. So you're just getting over on everybody? Yeah, yeah, just coming off pick and rolls, learning how to read, different things. Like, that whole year was just learning how to play basketball. Yeah. Was it traveling yeah. bad for you when you are pre-draft? Like, or you... Um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I had to travel a lot. I, went, I played, uh, worked up like, 10 different teams. Um, but remember, I came back, I had money. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. So you know, I'm coming back smooth. with the bag. Yeah. Like you know, I'm coming back with Louis Vuitton. Yeah. You he know, everything cool. changed. Cool. Like, that time, college place had nothing. Not nothing. Nah. 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 NCAA won't even let you get a haircut. Nah. <laughs> 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 they said no to socks, bro. Nah. Like, you couldn't yeah. do nothing, bro. Nah, yeah, nothing. You couldn't do anything. No, no, no gifts. Nothing. How you feel about that though? That's like the kids nowadays have an NIL and stuff yeah. versus. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm happy about it. I mean, I'm. Technically, I'm the reason why. Yeah. You yeah, know, if you think about nice. it, I was the first one to go overseas. So um, it's good to see kids get paid. I mean, come on, man. You guys work hard your whole life, um, you know, and, you know, put some money in your pocket. Why not? They make so much money off you, um, you know, when you put their jerseys on and stuff like that. So, but the main thing is now that you guys are getting money early, you guys got to um, protect yourselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to start, you know, making sure yourself is good first before you start uh, giving out money to everybody. Yeah, you know, because you know if something happens to you, you know who's gonna be there, like who's gonna have your back. So make sure you're always taking care of yourself first. Yeah, be yeah. selfish. Yeah. It's okay to be selfish right now. I see right now because we don't know facts. You know, all you know is right to don't to, today. Yeah, yeah that's, so. that's that's real. That, that's issue, that's an issue for you, like not saying no. Yeah, yeah, because I <clears> wanted <throat> you know because I created I created things that made people comfortable. Um, so now people became entitled, mm -hmm. and you know at the you know when you start saying yes to everything you know the one time you say no you know people looking start looking, looking, crazy. looking crazy like yeah. oh, what do you mean no like or this and that so you know family members friends even the people you have around you you know you got to make sure everybody's around you to help you yeah you know you, they, if they're not adding anything they're subtracting yeah so you gotta you gotta keep the dead weight away from y'all definitely you know like it's not fair to you guys because you guys are gonna be thrown into all type of stuff like that by by next year after north carolina you come out to man it's gonna get crazy yeah like you're gonna see people that you've never saw before and it's gonna be all uh, you could do this i could do this i could do that man just stay focused and stay in the gym mm -hmm. right. definitely 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 so rookie rookie year rookie season in the nba yeah walk us through rookie be a rook, rookie rook Man, rookie year, man, coming yeah, in. They, they made you do stuff you didn't want to do? What? Uh, what um, <laughs> like, oh. you use buying unnecessary meals. Oh, the rookie hazing, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, so, so, all right. All right. All right. So, you have to spend $5,000 on McDonald's. All right. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's some BS. Yeah, so I had to pay, you know, I had to pay the bill, the dinner bill, of course, which was like probably like five k back then. Wow, um, uh, I mean, it was a lot back then. Yeah. You know, yeah um, and then, so they do this one where, I don't know if they do it anymore, but if so, if one time I was late to shoot around, and they and everybody got all the basketballs from shoot around and kicked them in the stands, so I had to go around the whole arena That's and fine. get every basketball, heavy, heavy, and, heavy, and, heavy, and, heavy, nah, heavy, and, 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 heavy, and go get them. Yeah, but you, so, you had no say. No say. No, nah, nah, they was rook man. <laughs> and the thing is, it was like after the fifty-five game, they didn't care. They was like, man, we don't care. Boom! They was kicking them up the like. I had to go get all of them. Think about like 10, 10 basketballs. I'm thinking about the arena. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. About yeah. The arena. yeah. How do you even find every ball? Yeah, yeah. So we, I had like some. I mean, I had one more other rookie. So we had to go. Like we was like, all right, I'm gonna take this half, this half, and yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, I split your chosen half. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you said no, it was no saying no. That was no saying it, no. It was, 
saying no. If you said no, nah, I'm not doing that. Oh, okay, but all right. And then, then you'll see, like your your clothes might be on the floor, or we'll like, you know, or just or, something. or it's just. I mean, I mean, but it's like, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, these are vets, like these are your vets, so you don't yeah. want to like, you know, get on your get on your bad know, side, yeah, yeah bad yeah, side. Yeah. So the things that they were asking oh, for, some, some simple, it wasn't that crazy. It was actually for, yeah, they were just like, go get a newspaper, bring donuts every time on the bus, like you know. Um, <laughs> But but then like you know when you would do stuff for the vets you know they pay you like you yeah. know they look out for you yeah. like you know so Thanks. so I said the rookie hazing is cool it's only one year yeah. but once you start balling it's like yeah. nah, I ain't doing nothing. You was hooping yeah. your rookie year though. You was hooping your rookie yeah. year definitely. How the how the season? Talk about the season. Out man, of the season season. was the season was great. Man, the season was great because I came from not playing to starting. Mm -hmm. So like you know I had that whole year of training and getting my mind right and everything. So getting right into the league with Scott Skiles, you know uh, NBA you know, point guard, coach, um, you know, that's all I could ask for. Like, I was in heaven because, you know, everything started with through me. So, you know, he was giving me the green light. Definitely. And we we was able to make the playoffs, which was an eight-year drought. So, you know, going to the playoffs your rookie year, mm -hmm. you know, you just like, you know, you know, yeah. you had success. Like, it's a successful year. Definitely. So. Who's that? Who's y'all five? Who's y'all starting five for your rookie year? It was me. I want to say John Salmons, Luke Bamute, or Carlos Delfino. Andrew Bogut. Andrew, Andrew Bogut. Bogut. Andrew you remember Bogut. him? Yeah, 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 I remember Bogut. I don't remember him because of the Warriors, though. Yeah. I, don't yeah. Remember, I, don't, I don't remember him. I remember him in Milwaukee. He was in Milwaukee first. Definitely. You had a smooth jump shot at 2K. I tried Milwaukee. I used to get fried with y'all, though. Y'all wasn't. Yeah, y'all didn't put up the numbers y'all needed to, but you had a smooth jump shot. 2K, bro? Nah, it's, bro, it's weird, bro. The players that used to be nice in real life in 2K, they're not so good. Yeah, like Joe Green is probably the best 2K player ever. Like, like in 2016. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Joe Green, you know what? what? He was like LeBron. Nah, he was LeBron. He was <laughs> LeBron in 2K. Nah, he was actually yeah, LeBron in 2K. Yeah. Joe Green was OD. Bro, in 2K like 16, bro, Joe Green was unstoppable. He was unstoppable. There's nothing you could do with him. Nah, but they gave Brandon a good jump shot in 2K. He had a smooth, he had a smooth yeah. release. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the rookie year happened, right? You, you, you play some years. You going into the summer looking forward to, forward to a crazy contract, mm -hmm. and then then the injury happens. Yeah. How, how did where did that put you like mentally? Like how did that go for you? Yeah. So six my sixth season in playing well. I'm playing great, man. I mean. um we were like five and twenty-three. We, yeah. we, I think we had won like the last twelve out of fifteen games, and uh, all star, right? yeah, yeah, all star, all star. I'm like two weeks away, probably doing all star, yeah. and I tear my Achilles in Milwaukee. Yeah, tear my Achilles in Milwaukee, <laughs> um, and then you know that's when life hit. Like that's when life hit. That's when reality hit for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's when I had to change my circle around. Um, that's why I had to get the dead weight away from me, and I had to start to focus on myself and my well being. Yeah. Um, because, you know, like, you know, everybody has mental, you know, mental issues and things like that today. So, you know, my thing was I had to start just owning up to everything that I let happen, mm -hmm. that I was just letting, like, you know, accepting. Um, and, you know, while you're young and while you're still, that's why I want to tell the youngest is like, you know, don't accept that. Like, you know, if it's something you don't like, speak up on it. Like, if it's something that, you know, is killing you or is not right, like, say something. Like, yeah. speak up. Don't wait till it's too late because then it's going, you know, it's going to cause way more problems. Yeah, the damage, the damage <coughs> is done. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I, I hear a lot about that, like, in the NBA, mental, the, the mental part of the basketball. Yeah. Mental. We don't, I don't think people speak enough about yeah, the mental the, side of basketball. The, the game is way, way beyond this shooting threes, and for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, too. right? Because, like, think about it. When you get to the league, everybody can play. Yeah. yeah. It's just the mental part of it. It's like, if you're going to be consistent, you're taking care of your body. Like, when you go home, like, you know, if you ever watch somebody play, um, you know, if you're ever just sitting down watching NBA players play, like, you could tell who has a good home, at, like, who's happy at home. Yeah. You could just tell by the way they plan, the way everything is going. So you got to make sure your home is straight. And, you know, when you come to the gym, like, you know, you got to – should be in good spirit all the time. Like, come on, guys are making seven figures. Yeah. You know? Hey, definitely. To hoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to hoop for – think about 48 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. So the, at, the, at that point, right, the injury happened – you know, you you start thinking about like life, like after like after basketball, yeah. or whatever. So that that happens, right? At that point, was it like basketball? Is, is it over for me, or you was like, nah, I'm gonna figure this out, get better, and go back out there? Uh, yeah. So I did go back. I did go back. Um, wasn't really the same. Yeah. Like um, yeah. but you know, I wanted to go back just for my peace because when I was between the lines, you know, that was my freedom, um, away from all the noise and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I came back and but. During that time, like when I had downtime, I was getting to other things too. Like I was trying to figure out like who else, you know, like um, 
you know, I was trying to figure out myself, like who, you know, outside of basketball. So, you know, that's when music came around. I was trying to get into music, like, you know, so starting a label and stuff, like just trying to just start starting other things. And then yeah. the fashion came along and that was the hit. Yeah, sure. Definitely, but in your basketball, I'm telling you, you played against a lot of greats. You played against Kobe. Mm -hmm. Like, how was that? How was the experience playing against Kobe? Man, so it was like my rookie year, right? We played uh, the Lakers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I was hot. You know, I was a hot rookie, boom, boom, right? So, you know, usually, you know, everybody daff each other up before the game, right? So, you know, I come out, boom, boom, and, you know, dapping everybody up. Kobe go, <laughs> Like yo, like watch out, like, yeah, yeah, like watch out, really. I'm not, I'm not like, like, you. Yeah, yeah, like I, like I don't, like watch out. And then went into kill mode and hit the game winner that same night. I don't know. Every story yeah. I hear about Kobe is always some old yeah, crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Just, it, I never yeah. heard nobody tell me yo, Kobe walked and said hi to me. <laughs> Kobe, it's like, nah. the it's Kobe, like he, he was he was a savage, bro. Like, I don't want to talk to nah, you, this, bro. We aren't friends. Nah, savage. I'm, nah, I'm, I'm savage. gonna show y'all what's up. Savage. And I think because I was an LA kid too. Oh, so I'm he like really LA kid. So you know what I'm saying? Like he don't, you know, but he was. Yeah, he was Mamba. a different. He was a different machine, man. I really, I, I love Kobe. Kobe was probably Kobe was amazing. Like I remember uh, somebody else told a story. They, they, they just run Kobe's the whole season. They played against Kobe, tried to wear some Jordans, <laughs> and, and he took it personal and he killed them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Demar Derozan did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why'd you pull that on Kobe? Nah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't pull no games on Kobe. Nah, you didn't have to. I don't I, say nothing to Kobe. Don't you, say don't, nothing. you don't. That don't was one of the plays you don't talk I, to. Just was you a trash talk on the court? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, I would. I mean, some. I mean, I I got into it one time with KG. Me and KG got into it after we had uh, Kevin Garnett. Yeah. You gotta hear about that. I, I seen a recent video of Kevin Garnett, bro. It, it was like he be picking shoes in his battles. He, I, yeah. KG yeah. definitely picks a choo choo. He bullies. <laughs> KG definitely. Wait, that was picks video. <laughs> yeah, he definitely picks a choo choo. He bullies. Nah, it's, 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 sometimes in that video, KD, KG's running away. <laughs> he usually talks like he he's for me. He, be done, he was duck and smoke when yeah, you see the video. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. nah. I, I, you can't do that. What happened though? You can't what, do what that. He said to you. Nah, he caught. So I had like you know my rookie. I had like seven different hairstyles. I had the high top. I had the gumby. I had braids. I had uh -huh. and then one one. I guess I won't know what I was feeling. I had a, a mohawk with like red. Oh yeah, yeah, you did have that. Yeah, you I had did the have that. with the red, right? <laughs> well, so then yeah, we was walking in the back. And I was like, that. yeah, that's why we whooped y'all. Like boom, boom, boom. Like we was going at it. I'm like, he was like, shut up, you little red rooster. Like, <laughs> and I was like, man, what? Bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not a mohawk is definitely a funny cut though. Mohawk yeah. is not a. Wait, 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 just rookie, I mean, I was just because that's when the Mohawk was in. Nah, the nah, Mohawk nah, was in. Nah, and, nah. What, 2010? You tried to come to school with that, we gave it to them. Yeah, bro. Nah, the Mohawk was hot. Nah, the Mohawk was hot. Nah, the Mohawk was crazy. <laughs> they, they, nah. Trying it, they were trying it with the blonde. <laughs> oh, they yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Mohawk. <laughs> Yeah, the Mohawk was crazy. You got <laughs> yeah, hell nah, bro. Yeah, nah. There was only like three haircuts heard in New York. And the Dark Caesar. <laughs> but the flat top was heard. We were jacking the flat yeah, top. Yeah, but it had, to, it had to be like like it had to be some clean yeah. light Caesar. If you try yeah. anything else, bro, <laughs> the fade. The, the, what was the haircut that everybody had in Duke? Like 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 a afro with the taper. That 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 was her too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the Mohawk Tape was up, crazy. Yeah. The Mohawk is back cut. I can't jack the Mohawk. <laughs> I can't nah. jack the Mohawk. You got a red Mohawk? Nah, the red Mohawk nah, was OD. I don't blame. No, nah, it was all black, and it then it just had like the red. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it was all black with a strip of red. Nah, 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 nah. I was fly back. I was just came from GQ. What y'all talking about? I was shooting my shot at Sierra at the time. What's wrong, man? What's wrong with y'all, man? I was getting my, I was getting my stuff off. How that Mohawk? It was jacking you. Sierra, yeah, come on, everything. Sierra was jacking nah, the ball. Man. No, no, no. Nah, nah, she nah, wasn't. Nah. It's all right, though. Nah. It's all right, though. Yeah. You played against Curry. Yeah. 55. Yeah. That's your homie now. What was that like, though, back then? Uh, Well, it wasn't. He was in the game, but, you know, it. You know, he was. It was against the Warriors, man. Like uh -huh. you know, like uh, and shout out to um, shout out to Rico Hines, man, for the, for that scouting report. Yeah, you know, that was his scouting report, and he said something to me at halftime that turned me up. So that's why I went for thirty five in in the in the second half. You can't get the scouting report on on the goal state. Can't 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 loot that. No, nah, they told me they the scouting report was to go under me, uh, to go under every pick. So I was sweet. like, y'all gonna keep going under? All right, bet. Man, and then try to trade it, and then the rest was history. Confident, crazy. confident shooter though. Crazy. I be telling Ian. I go under is crazy. Yo, Patrick is lazy. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. how you feel? This is my take. I tell him, yo, you are a five star. You better shoot every time you touch the ball. You better shoot the ball. 
Because you in the gym to 4 a.m. every day and I got to grab a rebound. So now when the real game come, you, you better, better shoot, shoot that shot. <laughs> Yo, I don't right. know what you're up faking for. <laughs> right. I don't know what you're trying to hedge. Right. You better just shoot Yo, the ball. Yeah. He say he Pat, he doesn't see a bad shot. What is there about Like, it could be a clear bad shot. Yo. I like that though. That's how Gil think. Gil Marinas. Yeah. What's a bad? I mean, what's listen. If you work on it, what's a bad shot? That's I don't know what a bad shot is. Bro. I put them shots up. I gotta shoot them. Like if I shoot it and it goes some y'all, I I used to say, ah right, damn, I baited. it. But you, what are you not shooting it for? Yeah, especially if you the one working the hardest on the team, and bro. you in the gym, I'm shooting it. It's at Oak Hill, thirty seven. You see, how much shots you take a game? You, you taking the game at Oak Hill? Whenever, uh, whenever I feel like it. It's like every seeing. time down. I be telling average thirty seven. I mean, shot like 50 like, some really percent from the field. think about that, bro. I be trying to tell you guys, why you don't average 40? Like, he yeah. coming, yo, I had 25. What? There's 25 points, bro. <laughs> yeah, 25 is no good. I, I got 30. He said, yo, you could have had 47. Yeah. Why you, you, know, why you scoring 30 bro. points? All right, but my, my my team was different, yo. Like, so I had like a whole bunch of like emotional teammates. So so if if they was if they wasn't getting off, nothing was working. No. It wasn't it wasn't guarding. Yo, listen, I, I was making a sacrifice, bro. If we wanted to win, they had to get. Some Here's touches. an excuse, bro. I told him if you have forty and you tell them, yo, we won the game, you better hush up. And now they're gonna hush up and get on the bed. Nah, it was no well, winning, bro. Mm. Is your teammates here? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay, well, that's the reason. That's why you need to be shooting the ball. <laughs> that's why you need to be. That's why you need to be. I'm trying to show him that. And on top of that, I don't think basketball. Like if he was playing like low back then or something, I understand it. Nowadays, that's that's food, bro. Come on, you from the Bronx? Forty every trip. It's a forty ball. Yeah. Forty the only number I even know. Like, for real, for real, for real. I don't know. I like nothing, that. I don't know nothing else but forty. Like if you gotta play. You got Wait, so you say you was getting 40? Nah, but I was different though. I'm not <laughs> jumping over nobody. Like, if I was to get 20, my 20 was hard earned points. Like, yeah. bully, I, bully, ball, bully basketball. Yes. I need my seven free throws. Yeah, just like MVP should be your, you know, you should be trying to get MVP. You know, that's like, You know, you should, like, what, which nah, are scrimmage practice? Like, when you get them scrimmages in practice, Bro, you better go at everybody. You know, yeah, go for, for sure. everybody's like. Don't don't take it light on nobody. Nah, you gotta get under his skin. Like that's what I'm saying. He, you need to get the bad before he. Nah, decides I, haven't, to, I haven't had nobody talk to me like, in a minute, the, bro. Yeah, that's why he didn't. If uh, I had to play against me, he'll drop fifty. 60 nah. probably people, like, <laughs> people don't talk to the, me, bro. In the gym, when we be playing against him, what he other day he tried to he tried to. Bulldoze through a screen. I said, "Come do it again." Nah, so, I so, said, "Come do it we, again." We, we, we playing. We, 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 <laughs> we, we, we playing, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm guarding, and they, they, they trying to set screens every play. Mm -hmm. I said, "Yeah, I set a screen again. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna run you over." Okay. So he set a screen. Boom! Hit him hard. Hit, like, hit him mad hard. I told now, him, now come, he's I told him, "Come back." I said, "Come back." I gave him a, a defensive linebacker move. Boy, he he all they hacked. He, you know? he didn't run through the screen again. I read that. He, 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 he went under next time. He <laughs> but nah, yeah, bro. I haven't had nobody talk to me in a <laughs> minute, bro. I be trying. Mm -hmm. I, I say something on purpose, bro, and people just be like, "All right." Like nah, I don't know what nobody that's about. Say nothing, bro. I mean, all you gotta do is just start the game off and go straight at somebody, mm -hmm. and then they'll get the you know what I'm saying? get they'll the memo get the early. Yeah, they get the memo early. Yeah, because you'll feel it, right? Say you come down, go at somebody, score twice. Like they'll come, watch, oh, yeah, watch, yeah, you'll be like, like, yeah, this yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. yeah, nah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Nah, yeah. I, I, I go with MVP though. So who's the hardest player in the NBA you had to guard? Hardest player I had to guard ever in the NBA, probably Derrick Rose. D Rose, D Rose, prime That's time D Rose, D -Rose I, too. I had to play against D Rose MVP. Jesus Christ, when he's D Rose, doing, when he's doing a bat scratch every play. Yo, I think D Rose walked through the whole league that year. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Nah, he literally no, he strolled through the whole league, bro. No, he, he did. Strolled. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think like if you look at eighty two games, I don't think no guard got it. That D Rose that year. He was different though. Nah, he strolled through the league, bro. He walked on his sli that with slippers on, bro. That injury was <laughs> crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, slippers are walking through the league. Yeah, he walked through Yo, the D league. Yo, D Rose, Kyrie, and Steve Nash. Steve Nash was tough. Mm -hmm. I keep I I like Nash game. Nash was tough. He was aggressive. Like he was smart. Smart, OD Nash. smart. Because like he was always in shape. So like you in the first quarter, you would have like five, five and five. You look up, he got eleven and seven. In the first quarter, and like his team up ten, with him and Amar starting. He was Amari, hard to guard different. though, huh? He was hard to guard. Yeah, yeah, because he just they moving. They it's uh, constant moving. It wasn't like oh I'm gonna come down. He was and ice Bobby, It's not. just I'm gonna come off this pick. Boom. Like I'm gonna come off this pick. Uh, no like, players like that are simple. always the most annoying. I hate those, I hate those kind of players. I hate those yeah. players that don't stay yeah. still. You gotta run off a screen. <laughs> you yeah, run, yeah. run off the, still, the same the same dry screen every time. Boom, boom. Here you come. You know it's coming. It's nothing you can do about it. The second thing you got to figure out, they doing something else, bro. It's nothing you can do, bro. Because those players, they know they they come out of screen certain angles, so you. 
not they, so you can't get under. Yeah. And like like the big descent at a certain angle, so you really you got to fight over it every time. You fight over, he's holding you on the hip, <laughs> like bro. Mm -hmm. But yeah, NBA time, yeah, NBA time was a good. That was I feel like that was the best time of the NBA. You had the Steve Nash, Amari Star Buyer. You had yeah, the Darren Williams. You Dar had Darren Williams. Darren Williams. He was on the Nets when you was. He was that was when he was on the Nets. So that's when he was on Utah. Utah. I played Utah. against him from Utah and the Nets. Derek Favors. U Utah was crazy. Yeah. Utah was good. D, D Williams. Utah. 2010 Paul. every yeah nah, nah. he and was a oh yeah that, and then the Paul and then the Paul Millsap was, was right leaving. the Paul Millsap yeah. was right there to, to cause him havoc bro yeah, bro that double cross was leaving everybody yeah. everybody yeah. everybody was getting left with that double cross yeah Tony Allen Zach Randolph yeah Tony Allen I love Tony Allen who else Tony Park I, I called Tony Parker Park, Tim Duncan. Duncan that was, that was I, mean, I put I, I, I tell people Tim Duncan is top five Goat to me. That's right. Yeah, I'm going with that. Tommy, I be going crazy. I'm going with that. Yeah, goats. Top five right now in the league. Not in the league. No, no, like all ever, time goats. Yeah. Goats. Top five. Yeah, that's a that's Cole. a. Goat. Yeah. Kobe is number one to me. Yeah, nah. Like, Kobe number one to like, me just, too. Nah, I, I got Jordan. I ain't gonna lie. I can't say Mike, that. Mike. USC um, guys. Mike, Braun, you know. Steph. Wait, ever? Mike, Braun, Steph? Kobe? Yeah, Mount, Mount Rushmore? Yeah, yeah, my four, my Rushmore. Yeah, is, nah, yeah, see, Kobe, yeah, yeah it's Kobe, there. Mike, LeBron, and Steph. Mm. That's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know me. I'm weird, bro. I mean, I'm just you know what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna just leave my opinion alone. Nah, I'm go fine, bro. Go ahead. What's your four? What's your four on the Mount Rushmore? Um. Bro, P, I have, I, I've, that's what I'm saying. I'll be losing it, but feel me, this is bias. I'm biased, bro. I got Kobe, I got Jordan. I have LeBron, I guess, bro. Uh -huh. I have Allen Iverson up there, bro. Okay. That's a four? Yeah, that's four. Fifth, bro. Like, it's no a fifth. Nah. Oh, that's four? Yeah. That's four? I, I can rock with that four, then. Cause yeah. Definitely. I always got to put AI up there. I just feel like that whole Lakers, that whole run he did in that, that was crazy to me, bro. Do you think it's, it's AI's game or is more in his influence? It was his I influence, think it was, bro. Nah, it was both, it was bro. You bro. can't just say it was his influence because he was really nah, like AI was that, a menace, bro. Though. He was a menace. Yeah, like, no, he was really sure. six yeah. feet, bro. Yeah. But I think like his, his but, influence, but his, definitely his influence off the court was yeah, so crazy, yeah, though. Yeah, bro. Like, everybody, everybody wanted everybody to... Wants, I don't think... I'd be wondering what basketball would be right now if, if no Allen Iverson. Bro, like, everybody wants to be like AI, bro. Yeah. I feel like he changed. He really changed the game of basketball. Like, he's one of those players that changed the game. That's swaggy. Od, yeah. Od, his yeah. game was tough too. His game was oh, you can't now, nah, you can't take away from his game. Nah. So who's your top five? Oh, actually, Four? we play the game. Let's play the game. What? Your five. Build your five right now. In the NBA right now, you have to build a five. Build a starting five. Build a starting five right now. I bet. Um. So we got, we got Steph at the one. We got. Katie at the two. Braun at the three. Giannis at the four, Jokic at the five. What you have going on over there? Yeah, bro. You see, I uh, cheated you the got system. It. You got he, it. He, he cheated. He cheated the system. And I got now. a five that's gonna beat he you put still. Katie at the two. I still got a five that's gonna beat you too. What? Okay? I got a five that's gonna beat that team. You put Katie at the switch two. It. We Is switching it everything. Switching everything. Bro, it's two K, bro. We switching <laughs> everything. We switching everything. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that Giannis, you, nah, you, took, you took my Nigerian brother. If you gave me, you could take anybody and give me Giannis. I take feel me. As long as I got a Nigerian guy, my captain, I'm fine, bro. bro he, he, Giannis is Nigerian. He, he loves Nigerians. Yeah, I think Embiid, Embiid is the best player in the league. Embiid, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, what's 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 your five that's beating Brandon five? I got Shea Gill at the one. I got Shea Gill at the one. Oh no. Uh, who's who's at the two? I'm putting I put Luca at the two. Nah, 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 nah. Just said this shows. Let me cook. Mm -hmm. Let me cook. I put Luca at the two. Who's my three? LeBron is there. You can't put LeBron. He got LeBron. No, no. I'm saying he, I'm a yeah. like, matchup. So LeBron's there. Uh, I put Kawhi. Good. I put Kawhi. The four. You got Giannis, bro. Put the beat there. Giannis. Don't beat it there, bro. Yeah, nah, Gian, uh, but I need a five, though. Nah, beat at the four? Nah, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, so I put him be at the four in, in my five. I put Wimby. Let the, let, let the young boy get some run. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a long night for him. Nah, Jokic. yeah. Nah, nah, With Jokic. Nah, 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 nah. I think nah, it'd be. Nah, I think nah, I think over a seven-game series, Wimby will fi figure it out, though. Nah, Wimby's going to figure it out. I, I can't. I don't talk no more about yo, but listen. He's, nah, he's, I'm his biggest fan Wimby's now. Good. Wimby gonna figure I mean, out against who? Jokic? Yeah. He's, he's figured, figured out against out. anybody. Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop. Bro, stop. Stop. I cannot Don't disrespect nah, that MVP. Nah, 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 nah. Jokic is. Then, then, I, 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 I think Giannis will have a hard time with Wimby. Uh, nah, I'm wilding. Jesus. 
Nah. Giannis I, 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 played against MB, 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 Wemby, Wemby, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was a good game. Wemby held his own. Yeah, nah. I'm, I put in Wemby on, keep, on Giannis, he, and I'm letting keep holding Jokic, his own. I'm letting Jokic get killed by MB. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably. Who guarding KD? At the two. I'm, it's gonna nah. be a long night for Luca. Yeah, Luca's gonna, gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night. Put Jason Shoot. Tatum in there. Nah, nah, Jason Tatum. Nah, I'm gonna put AE. Okay. I put AE in there. I like it. AD was a dog. AD hit dog. I think he's dog. He hit dog. Like, he he dog. Ah, what did he go compete? AE's not gonna mm. let yeah. nobody yeah, he walk He's not letting KD dog, dog with him. Nah, 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 nah. But you can't stop KD. I, that's an argument to have with somebody. Nah, you can't stop him, bro. You can't. You never see one person stop KD. I didn't see KD miss shots. You can't stop him. You can't stop KD. Oh no! I put Kawhi. I put Kawhi on KD and let Anthony Edwards do with LeBron. Oh, okay. That's okay. Let's get yeah. right to this post. Yeah. What time it is? Bring Wait, right LeBron and let LeBron dictate everything, right? He's until you cut at this point. Until this yeah, guy. LeBron gets like, weird like that too. <laughs> he would run the whole show right there from the post. Yeah, LeBron. LeBron, gets, LeBron gets mad weird. He would run. He get LeBron mad weird. Get mad weird, bro. LeBron yeah, bro. Get, he, he, yo, if he cut, you. If he move, come back. Good luck. We talk with his head. LeBron get mad weird, bro. Hey, that's funny. That's funny. Bro, LeBron get weird. That's funny. Bro. LeBron that's get funny. weird. Definitely. Yo, that's you know, funny. Like, if he helps over, I'm gonna throw it over the top, and then he figure it out. LeBron. Nah, but I mean, hey, Ian, uh, your team is losing though. I don't think you. I Wait, feel what? like do the matchups though. I can win. Shea, Shea, Gale, Steph. That's the first matchup. Okay. Uh, I'm going Shea. <laughs> oh. I mean, Next. he's having a good year this year, but yeah, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm rocking with Shea till he <laughs> ret- to, I got the Shea Converse's and everything, bro. I'm rocking with Shea, bro. It was not a bad yeah, idea. It's Shea not go? a bad idea. I'm going yeah, Shea. Yeah. Who else? Who y'all had uh, at the two? Kawhi, Kawhi, KD, KD, LeBron, AE, LeBron. What? It's two zero, two one, two one. Yeah. At the four, you had Embiid. He had uh, no. At the four, at four, I had Wimby and Giannis. Wimby. I'm going. That's, that's a toss up. That's a toss up. We break even there. <laughs> now this is a toss up. A rookie? Nah, yo, I love yo. Listen, I don't think I, I don't. Yo, y'all I, I don't, bugging. I like Giannis so <laughs> y'all much. Got Greek. Y'all, y'all got Greek. Y'all got Greek. I like, Greek I like Giannis up. so much, bro. I give Giannis props, bro, for being Giannis' brother. Like I give him props for being Giannis' brother. Bro. You give I love Giannis', Giannis. props. Yeah, bro. Giannis. All right. What's it called though? Then we got Embiid and Yoke. Come on, you know who's you know Embiid is really a menace. Nah, I can't jack that. Embiid is Embiid is a menace. I can't jack that. Nah, one. bro. But I don't know what it is about Embiid that you love so much. Yo, bro. he 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 he's he's different, bro. Like before the injury, he was on a tear. Bro, look, Embiid is only good regular season, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. The, the guy is good, bro. The second we enter the playoffs, bro, Embiid becomes. It's a lot of guys like that, bro. That guy was getting sixty. He was he was doing whatever he wanted, bro. Nah, definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like it's hard to like, bro. He was a mess. He's a matchup nightmare, bro. Nobody could guard him. Everybody in my starting five got a ring. I don't care. I don't mean it, nothing. It, it does. It, no, it, it doesn't. It, it does. It does. That means we know how to win. KD only got one. KD got two. He got two. They all. Do got, we even count they Kevin all Durant got multiple, rings, bro? Except yeah. for Jokic. We counting KD rings? Yeah, you got to. Well, we count the KD rings. Okay, I guess. Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, finals, KD I mean, rings are skeptical. I, mean, I guess nah, they he, went. They went eight and one in the finals. I don't ever support yo, what he, he did. He, he, he. That was insane. <laughs> yo, I'm not that lie. was crazy. That team was insane, That's wild, bro. bro. That's wild, bro. That's OD. That there was no point of that. Kevin Durant, you're the best. Nah, it scorer. was a point though. He needed two of them things. Nah, not get, people don't. That's I don't. A quick, it was a quick two. Uh, uh. That was. OD. It was a quick two. It was. It was. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. It's probably because how he did it that I. Yeah, yeah. Like he he's said, I'm gonna get these. He, he came right in the bank. He came right in the bank with a hoodie on. And they yeah, yeah, yeah. Two rings. They were like, give, me, I, give me those. In his go. head, he was like, "Yo, they 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 try, they try to volley Melo right now for that win. Yo, I can't bro. go in that boat. I gotta just go with Curry real quick. Get he, to it. I'm out. He 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 grabbed two of them quick. That team was unstoppable. The Cavs had no chance. Yeah, they did it. I remember people try to pick Warriors at 2K. They call themselves good. Like, what do you mean? Nah, I, uh, that was me. I <laughs> really know you do stuff like that. You get like that though, bro. I don't put that. I gotta do the win. I'm gonna win. Whatever, I, if I gotta pick the best team to win, I'm gonna do it. It's like, that's yeah, just how bro. it's gonna go. Yeah, so who's the top five players you ever played with? Like, yeah, your teammates. Top five players I've ever played with. Yeah. yeah. Number one, I'm going Kevin Love, our, our 30 and 8, our 30 and 0 team, SCA, when we ran through AU, the greatest AU team ever. You put him in AU, K Love? Yeah, me and K Love. Um, Nolan Smith, Oak Hill, 40 and 1, um, national champions. Uh, Kurt Thomas, mm-hmm. old school vet, but just a good brother. Um, 
who else would I say? Uh, Giannis. I played with Giannis. Mm-hmm. You had Giannis young though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, still, but yeah, you know, yeah. still play. Um, how was that? The whole did you see like you understood the whole process they had going on for him? Like how was the process? I thought you thought he was gonna be honest. You hmm? think you thought Giannis was gonna be honest? Um, I didn't know at first. I didn't know at first, but I mean, you could just see like the progression over the years. Yeah. Like he got stronger. Like it just took time. Like you know, he developed yeah. himself into a uh, a pro. Yeah. Like you know, so that just took time. Um, and then my last one, man. Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson. Yeah. I love Sack Jack because if anybody did anything to me on the court, he was there. Yeah. Like, it was, it was on. Yeah. Like he's, he's, he's that yeah. protector. Like he, you need those. Yeah. On the, you need yeah. those. You need those. Yeah, he's that protector. That, that'd be me on the court. That's not true. <laughs> I'd be with it. I want to get it on. I want it. If you try to violate my team, man, I'm here. I'll get t- <laughs> I used to get fouled out all the time, bro. That's heavy, bro. You I, get fouled out? I did. No, nah, I got fouled out like twice in my life. But... On a, on a, on a wrap it up note, nah, who nah. who was the most influential influential player you played like an NBA for you? Somebody that had a big influence on you, like deep in the basketball. Um, I would have to say Kenny Anderson, because I got when, when when Kenny Anderson was I was in eighth grade. I got this tape, uh, Kenny Anderson at Georgia Tech, and that that just took over everything like in the game like I was like yo I'm gonna play just like this like this is the guy I wanna play like and then I got a chance to meet him when I was doing a court ded- uh, dedication up in uh, Raleigh Park in my hometown 2011 so getting a chance to meet him and you know talk to him was a, a big uh, a big thing to me yeah. so uh, Kenny A shout out Kenny A Fact. If, you're, if you're in the game right now 40 minutes you got the green light how much you get in? right now green light 40 minutes yeah I can get a dub I get twenty. <laughs> at least I'm a shoot. green light. Shoot forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, green light. yeah you and I'm forty seven, like Brunson. At least twenty and ten. Forty seven is a lot of shots. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, I'll be saying, bro. bro. If I, I, I don't know. Probably I'm delu. I, I do have a thing for being delusional because I think I could beat Trey Young. Oh yeah, he's wilding. I really do believe it. I'm posting them up. 16 plays. No playing around. You think Trey Young is weak? All, all jokes. No, I'm, Trae I'm Young not, is nice. Not, it's not about being weak, bro. I'm from the Bronx, bro. So I don't we, lose one-on-one, bro. I took 35 shots when I uh, scored 55. That's a lot of shots. That's I a was lot. 21 for 35. So I, saying, I never bro. took 35 shots. If I ever you took... If I ever took 35 <laughs> shots, bro, I'll have I'm taking one Tuesday, 35. You should. 35 of them things. You should. He would love it. Your nah, boy would be. I'm, I'm, if I take 35 shots Tuesday, so, you would love it? I, of course, bro. <laughs> nah, I, I would at least take like 40 something. Nah, bro, even if you really watch the overtime game, bro, every shot you shoot, I think it's going in. And if it goes, it comes off. So 35, I don't mind. 35 of them, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll smile. No, you. 35 shots. Even if you take 35 and you leave with 20, bro, we out. Because <laughs> <laughs> feel me, I'm blaming it on the refs or something, yeah. bro. So, we can talk. Yeah. <laughs> you blame it on the hey, rib. It wasn't my fault. Feel me, I'm going to give you an excuse to why you missed, feel me hey i got a question um yo so you finished your last year of overtime yeah yo how was that bro it was, it was great you know it, it, it was i feel like just like how when you you feel like you, you went to okay like mm-hmm. the better competition yeah that's exactly what it was from it's a way different level than high school mm-hmm. like from a phys- physicality standpoint from just off the court stuff like like media stuff mm-hmm. it's just a way different level i'm glad i did it actually because yeah. i was at Hayes. if i was at Hayes, bro i would have just been cruising bro it's mm-hmm. crazy. Doing whatever I wanted, yeah. like like on the court, just, just shooting funny shots, like just not, it, it was no it was nobody really like like to stop it. Mm-hmm. But being there, just like all those good players, you know, yeah. just older guys. Like some guys are supposed to be like in college already. Mm-hmm. Those guys are there playing. The younger guys, that's that's good. It was yeah. it was it was great. How, um, so how is it like? It's a school. It's a real like. So like it's a league. It's a league. Okay. So my kids out there, it's kids in Atlanta. It's okay. kids in Atlanta that that goes that's in the program, the overtime league. It's a league and a program. Okay. So you have the you have the program that's out there. So the kids that's in the program plays in the league, mm-hmm. and they live in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And you got some teams that's not in Atlanta, but they play in the league. Okay. So we, we was one of those, we was one of those teams. So <clears throat> I stayed in New York. Yep. We had games. We flew to Atlanta though, and there was like a team from Phoenix that 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 we never had games. We flew like so yeah. That's what's up. I was I wasn't in Atlanta. I, I stayed home. That, that that was better for me too though. I couldn't move to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. So I I got I got a chance to stay home, play play better comp, and just you get better for one year. Just I I was I was with it. Nah, so you get homesick fast. Yeah, facts, bro. You do? Yeah. So what are you gonna do fast. in North Carolina? Yo, nah, get. but that's 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 different though. He thinks North Carolina is home. He nah, yeah, it's home already, bro. Home I love already. that. I love that place. <laughs> I, if I can go there right now, I would leave. No, not right now, but like for me, if I could leave, I I would go. I'm trying to go as quick as possible. Hopefully, I don't get homesick. Hopefully, it don't happen. 
Nah, but that was good. The overtime thing for him, I definitely think oh. helped him because watching him from high school, that mm-hmm. junior year, mm-hmm. and where he's at now, his game is completely mm-hmm. different. I don't think yeah. nothing it was like different, bro. Like, I, like I, 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 I was lifting every day, like, like, different. like little stuff like that. Watching what you eat, make sure you're on time. Like, like, yo, if we was late, if we was late this year, bro, oh nah, it was over. Yeah. Like practice is done, we running. It's a track, it's a track meet. Like, like, just like something like that. Make sure that I was, I was disciplined enough to be there on time. Mm-hmm. Like, we start practice at seven thirty. Make sure I'm there seven, like seven fifteen. Yeah. Like, just a little stuff. When I hate, bro. I, Imagine I it be it. like this: yeah. you from Compton, like you have been the toughest kid growing up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you cut the high school and you go to a home hometown school. <clears throat> Coaches like yeah. Brandon, do whatever you want. Just show yeah. up to the game and give me. Make sure we win. Yeah, you know what like, I'm saying. Yeah, definitely. It, 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 it was it was it was unreal. Like I was I, like being being there was living like a, a false reality. Like okay. just just being able to do whatever I want, no yeah. with no consequence. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I get like that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, that's definitely. how I was at 16. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Definitely. So I see you. You know, you got your podcast about ball. Um, you know, what else do you want to get into? Fashion for real. Fashion. Yeah. That's, that's dope. I, I'm, yeah, I love dressing, bro. Like, yeah, like putting outfits and putting stuff together. Yeah, fashion for real. That's but I, I never thought about like making my own stuff though. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I just like model dressing. Yeah, model. I can see you. You're not that. You ugly, but you could be a pro. Got your own unique look with the with the with the with the shaggy mop on your head and stuff, Why bro. Feeling, <laughs> 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 feeling. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of my nah, go today. <laughs> but no, nah, man, it's dope, man, just to see, you know, you guys young and get into other things, yeah. you know, outside of ball. Um, you know, when I was coming up, it was just strict, strictly basketball. Yeah. But it's so dope to see you have your own podcast, you know, want to get into fashion and, you know, still hooping. So, you know, it's just because you just never know what happens with basketball. You yeah, know, I facts. pray that you have a healthy career and you can, you know, go on and, and, you know, make a lot of money and play in the NBA. But, you know, at least you have something else that you're starting to work on outside of it. So I think that's dope, man. I want to congrats you on yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. What's uh, some advice you give to Ian closing out to go, going into yeah. the, going into the next level of his life, yeah. next chapter? Um, Man, just be patient, man. You know, have gratitude. Be grateful. Um, You know, trust God. Um. And, you know, observe, you know, ask a lot of questions, man. You know, this is your time. This is your future. Um, you don't owe anybody anything, you know. Um, you put in the time, the work, the effort. So just make sure you take care of yourself first and the people that are there that, that are adding things and that, and that and uh, keep them around you. The people that are subtracting, keep them away from you. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I call them dead weight. So just keep the dead weight, uh, uh, you know, away from you and you'll be all right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, for sure, Go for sure. Tough youngins. Hey, that's another episode of the Captain Jack Pot. And we out of here. Pow Wavy, we out, man. <laughs>